What is going on guys? Newton here with MMO Play, bringing you guys a quick review for Apocalypse City The Last Stand. Now this is a uh, it's a hardcore survival game, kind of like H1Z1 or DayZ. If you guys have played those games or have seen those, it's very, very similar in a lot of different aspects. You do kind of have a, this one's a smaller open world with um, open PvP at any time, so... I mean, if you played those games, this one will become, uh, this one's very familiar, or you'll find it very familiar and easy to pick up, and I shouldn't have too much trouble really getting into things. Now, the one problem I do have about this game, I've been playing it for a little while now, kind of testing things out, um, there's not a huge player base, the player base is rather small, but I think that might be due to the very, very poor optimization to this game. As you can see here, everything is super choppy, I do have a frame rate up in the right hand corner, and as I explore, frame rate is super low, and it makes the game extremely difficult to play. Now this could be a lot of fun with friends, because the world is not too big, it's a decent size, so jumping in with a few friends just to kind of run around and kill each other would be a lot of fun, but with this poor optimization, the game is extremely difficult to play, and especially when you engage in combat, um, it really does not help when you're trying to take other players out. Now, I know um, running a game like this, I should have no problem. I mean, easily going over 60 FPS. I have a pretty nice rig, but um, just this game's optimization is super poor that the frame rate is uh, it, it's low all the time. I mean, it kind of jumps a little bit if you stay still. Everything, if you move very slowly, everything kind of looks kind of smooth. But even then, when you're running around, everything's wicked choppy. You engage in battles, and um, nothing feels really, feels really nice. Everything is... Um, I mean, you can't really tell what's going on with battles because characters kind of jump across the screen. There's a lot of, um, like, a character will be here, you're shooting them, and the next thing you know, they're all the way over here. Oh, we're engaging in a fight. Let's go ahead and see if we can take this guy out. Ooh. He's in the store. Oh, both of them are in the store. Let's go ahead and try to take them out. Oh, we ran out of ammo. Let's go ahead and change guns. And as you can see, now we're trying to fight them, but it's super difficult with a super low frame rate with, uh, the, uh, the bullets flying at you. So, they're definitely working together here. Let's go ahead and see if we can try to take them out. We're running out of ammo once again, but uh, let's go ahead and try to take these guys. It seems like they're having a problem trying to kill me too, because if there's a good frame rate, it should really have uh, no problem just shooting me, because it seems like they're working together, but with this frame rate, it's absolutely crazy, and fights take longer than they should, and they're a lot more difficult than um, they really should be. Now, this game, like I said, it could have a lot of potential behind it. But the very poor optimization behind the game makes it extremely hard to play and really not fun for a long period of time. Now, if I want to play like this, a game like this, I could easily drop the $20 and just go buy H1Z1 or uh, DayZ or something like that. But um, I, like I said, this game could have a lot of potential being a free browser-based um, kind of open-world PvP game. But with this optimization, the game is super hard to play. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can try to kill another player. Maybe get some revenge. Those guys were clearly working together. And this game could be a lot of fun if you jumped and made a session with your friends. Because the open world, or uh, this kind of map, it's not incredibly uh, big. Which makes it kind of fun for smaller sessions if you're playing with friends. Now let's go ahead and kill this guy over here. There we go. We killed him with two shots. So you could definitely kill other players and other things like that. It's possible. But it seems like that guy was AFK. So it made it easy for us to um, kind of kill him. But when you are engaging in actual combat with players... Who are actively trying to kill you it is extremely hard but i mean other than that that's pretty much there it, all there is to the game it's kind of a small open world pvp based um hardcore survival and uh it could be a lot of fun with friends if it was better optimized but in the state that it's in right now i'm gonna go ahead and give the game a two out of ten it's it's kind of awful like i said it has potential but it needs a lot of work before it's actually playable and fun and something i would recommend that you guys check out and uh, play and explore with some friends. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.